sparked some cyclones when you're one and four. Suddenly beating Toledo becomes a win you absolutely have to have. Iowa State fans hungry for that home win. Cyclones 0 and 3 at home this year, and they won just one home game all of last season. And this one didn't start well either. Cyclones in the first half could simply not finish off drives. A lot of incompletions. Couldn't cash in. They did get three cold net and field goals. Toledo's rushing attack did do its job. Terry Swanson's touchdown. Now the Rockets up 10 to 6. Cyclones at the break found themselves down to Toledo 13 to 9. The Rockets doing their thing at Jack Troy Stadium. Finally, Iowa State turns it on. Sam Richardson to Tad Ekby. Great catch. In the end zone, a 23 yard touchdown, and it gave Iowa State a 16 13 late. Toledo came back. The game was tied 23 all in the fourth. Check out EJ Bibbs. I do not want to be tackled. Bins, an amazing touchdown. Richardson had three touchdowns in the second half, a career high 351 yards. Iced it with this touchdown to Alan Lazard, and the Cyclones get that home win 37 30. Tony Stevens says this one felt pretty good. The homecoming fans are happy tonight. The Cyclones get their first home win of the season thanks to a record setting performance by quarterback Sam Richardson. Richardson certainly had a busy day. He threw for 351 yards and had a record breaking 37 completions in the win. It's an awesome accomplishment. It's, uh, but with uh, throwing the ball 53 times, I feel like you're, you got to get 37 completions. Made a lot of plays. Yeah, made a lot of plays with his, with his feet, with, with his arm. But he had some help through the air thanks to some great performances by receivers Tad Ekby and Alan Lazard. And let's not forget about the ridiculous tackle shrugging touchdown by EJ Bibbs. He's a man, is what it, what it showed me. Uh, and that's what I told him when, when he came off the field. That, that was a, a big time run. He's a, uh, he's a great player. He's. He's a guy that he's going to make those plays, and we got those guys all over the field. So, continue to try to exploit those guys and put them in those man to man coverages where they're going to make people miss. After the game, the Cyclones say they're happy to grab a home win, but they're still a two and four team, and work needs to be done. We're, we're not pleased to be two and four, uh, uh, but I'm uh, uh, pleased with the fight that continues to come out of our guys. Uh, they showed great uh, uh, perseverance in the second half. Uh, to come out with the energy that they did to, to win this football game. In Ames, Tony Seaman, KCCI, Iowa Sports Leader.